Okay, so I'm going to uh, give you a quick demonstration of uh, ephemeral uh, Diffie-Hellman with, with RSA or DHE stroke RSA. Uh, and what it does is that uh, it will create a unique uh, pre-shared uh, master secret that we will then generate our keys from. So hopefully if we're hacked at some time in the future and they discover certain values then it shouldn't be possible to actually discover each of the keys that we've actually used for our tunnel. Okay, so it's based on the Diffie-Hellman method. So if we have Bob and we have Alice, so the way that Diffie-Hellman works is that we agree on two numbers, G and N. N is a prime number and G is a generator uh, and then there are certain ways that we can uh, create our generator. Uh, Bob and Alice create two random uh, values, X and Y. Uh, Bob calculates uh, G to the power of X mod N and Alice generates g to the power of y mod n. They transfer each the values over. So we take Alice's value and then we raise it to the power of, of x. So we'll take Alice to the power of x mod n and Alice will take Bob's value, raise it to the power of y uh, and then in the end we get something like g to the power of x y mod n will be the will be the shared key. So that's the way that the maths actually work. Okay, so the problem with this is that uh, if Eve sits in the middle, she can negotiate the values and change the values uh, and Bob and Alice would never would never know. So she could negotiate values here and modify them and then create two keys. So our, our method with RSA works kind of the same. So when we create our tunnel, what we define as the tunnel type, uh, so just TLS, we then say something like Diffie-Hellman ephemeral with RSA. That's our key exchange method. We then define with and then AES256 is going to be our cipher method for the tunnel. So once we've negotiated our key, we're going to use 256-bit AES and we're going to make that CBC, cipher block chaining. And then we're going to define our hashing method, such as SHA, SHA1, SHA256, MD5, if we want, that's our method. Okay, so we're going to create a 256-bit key from this uh, exchange method that we use here. Okay, so the first thing that we need is a digital certificate. And the digital certificate will have a private key and a public key. Okay, so we have our keys there. And what we're going to do is we're going to sign with our private key and then we're going to prove that signature with our public key. Okay. So the first thing that, that, that we do is that uh, we generate our, our x value. We'll just call this x value over here. <laughs> we generate our x value uh, over here. And we're going to generate a G and an N value if we want. We could we could create them as a, not as a shared secret, but we could pass the G and the N value that the server wants to use. Okay, so we'll take our, our G and our N value, and we're going to pass it back. G and N, N as a prime, pass that back to the client. So this is the first thing that happens is the is the client hello. The client hello will actually define uh, the the tunnel that's that's to be created. 
and then we're going to generate a value of x here. So we calculate g to the power of x mod n, and then we send that back. I'm just going to put g to the power of x. So it should be difficult for Eve to be able to determine the value of x that we've used uh, from there, even though she knows n and g, and g from that. What we then do is we take these values and we encrypt them with the private key. Uh, so this creates a signature. So we'll call it an RSA signature of g n and g to the power of x. So no one will be able to create this signature because only we know these values. Okay, so we signed that with our private key that uh, we have here. Okay, we can also create a nonce value, uh, and then the nonce values will be used to be able to create other keys based on the master key that we're actually going to generate. Okay, so the values come back here. So we now have g, n, and g to the power of x. We then get the certificate. The certificate gets sent at the same time, but only has the public key uh, with it. So we check the certificate, we take the public key off, and then we decrypt the RSA signature uh, to give us the, uh, the values back uh, that have been signed by the server. And only the server will have had the private key to be able to encrypt that value. So we can now recover back uh, the nonce values that we're going to use and check that uh, that we get the right uh, signature for for that. Okay, so we now have the g, the n, the x, and the nonce. We will then take g to the x and raise it to the power of y mod n again. And what we're going to do is we're going to send that back to there and then we'll do a, we'll do a calculation uh, sorry we, we take g to the power we take g to the power of y here g to the power of y mod n send that back and then uh, the server will raise it to the power of x and uh, uh, over here uh, we'll take the value and raise it to the power of y. Okay, and that will allow us to be able to get our value uh, back. Uh, so we take the value that was received and raise that to the power of y. And then the value that's sent over here, we raise that to the power of x. And because of the rules of logs, we end up with g to the power of x, y, mod n. Okay, and that gives us our pre-shared uh, master uh, secret. Okay, so not with normal Diffie-Hellman, we would then use that value, but uh, obviously if our, if our values were breached at some time in the future, we'd be able to derive the, uh, the keys the key. So what we do is that we use this pre-shared master key uh, as our master secret that the that the uh, the client and the server will be working on. We then put it into some pseudo randomization process and this is the method here where we use HMAC and we go through a, a number of rounds and then we take our nonce that we're going to use Okay, these are the nonce values that the server is, is, has defined that we're going to use. And we're going to put it into this, uh, this uh, uh, sort of randomized function. The nonce and, and the, the key that we've generated as a master secret to create our 256-bit key. We put it into that function and then out pops our 256-bit key. And both the client and the server will actually use that. When we need to create a new key, we'll take another nonce, and then based on the pre-shared secret, we can actually generate uh, the, the, the new value. 
Okay, so that's that's how uh, the uh, DHE stroke RSA method actually works.